You know what I watched the other day, though? What's up? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bro. The second movie. Oh, the movie, not the TV show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the new ones. It's just pretty good. It's fun. It's fun, just laid back, you're going to think, good humor. And what I thought was funny because they find a serum that can cure them, make them human. I thought, imagine if they cured their humanity in the next movie, instead of being Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's just called teenage. Ninjas. Because they grew up. Oh. So maybe the, so the, the next movie is just called Ninjas, and they're just human ninjas. But they used to be teenage mutants. What a turn of events that would be. <laughs> a total of events? <laughs> Anyways, um, I fuck with them. Raphael, the god, the OG. <laughs> Y'all did good with them. Y'all made them unique. But that's not what we're here today for. We jungle beats. And we're here for Brockhampton's <sighs> new single, 1999 Wildfire, after their recent live performance on Jimmy Fallon. Um, which was fantastic, very own, honest, vulnerable. We're really looking forward to the direction they're going in now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, man, I got no more to say. My name is Norman Newton. I'm Alexander Sandalis. Let's get it. Who is this? Sounds like Merlin. Sounds like Matt Champion. I heard a call from the mother top show bus. I put my cloak on and I walked. Going to prison in the grasslands with a wand. Cause we smell those places on their own. We left our shitties in the village with nowhere to go. Just a group of outcasts with a gift of hope. No other people this is Joba. to come at me. The thing with magic is you can't happen if you don't believe. You did not believe, they did not believe. You can tell me things. This was overseen. You're not one with me. I bought a horse for the shillings that you took and then gave back to me. Mm. I bought the queen that you praised so much she's in the me. I bought a castle in the shire with the moat in the catapult. Yeah, it sounds like Merlin. It's a dope hook. Now, Dom, you love Dom. Yeah. Is that bare face? Yes. So this is Kevin Abstract and Jova together. On the, on the hook? On that chorus, yeah. Funky. Juicy. I fuck with it. I wouldn't mind seeing a live rendition to it though, because Tonya, when they did that live, was fucking crazy. It was. I reckon this would be even better live as well. <sighs> I, I, you know, I know. I, th I felt like every artist kind of did something a little different than their usual self. Like Jobo, rapped fast. Don't mm -hmm. usually hear him rapping fast. Not that I can remember. You know, Kevin Abstract had a little different vocal tone, pitching to his voice. He was, just on, the, he was just on the hook, wasn't he? He was on the on the chorus, is what Genius calls it. Yeah. With Joba, my hands up, I let my mouth is getting. I thought that was Merlin on the hook because I didn't hear him rapping. I do not see Merlin on this at all. Man, how are you gonna do a Brockhampton track with no Merlin? No. Merlin. I need the honey butter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do. I think I enjoyed Tonya a lot more because of how different it was. This honestly just sounds like something that would be on saturation. Hmm. Like, just listen to the production. It sounds like something that'd be off, like, like, like dun, 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 dun. the production. Yeah, I guess so. Which isn't a bad thing. Like, you know, they're still maturing but a lot. People like you, people like me, we're we're looking forward to something a little different. Oh, after hearing Tonya, fuck yeah. However, I think the vocal performances were a little different. However, the production to me wasn't different. So it's half the track is different, half the track not. That's very true. I think I enjoyed. 
Probably Don McLennan's verse the most, the third verse. Yeah. I thought he fucking killed it. Joe was nice. Matt Champion was a little little lackluster for me there, but... It's also a honestly, short verse. The highlight's the hook. That is a very infectious hook. Really dope hook. The hook is still the show. They're very good at that, man. They're very good at it. They know how to make a catchy fucking hook. Honestly, I'm left not like... Like, I'll go back and listen to that, but... It's not something that I'm like super loved. It's mm. decent. It's a decent track. They can do better. Well, this was song was released on the on the Beats One radio show, so we don't know if it'll be part of the project. It'll be part, um, it could be a leftover from Puppy. Because you gotta remember they're making a new album now, so they had a lot of other tracks that were on a previous album. Yeah. And all they have to do is just scrap it. If Amir had a verse now, they just scrap it. Yeah. And they can just release it as a bit of a loose. I don't think that's a bad idea, you know. Fuck it, man. If you're making dope music and you don't want to release it, we are Shabbara Beats. Uh, thank you for fucking with us, man. Shling, shling. If you want to see more of our reviews, we've done all the Brockhampton um, project reviews. You can go, go search a channel. Yeah. Sat one, two, three. What it be? If you want to suck my slong, just get along. You heard it here first, man. Jungle Beats. Follow us everywhere. Or don't. Stalk me. We don't care. I've been thinking all my time spent Are the bills paid? Does it make a break? Will I find a way? Have my feelings changed? Will I be okay? I don't know But what I do know is Life don't make sense If you can't pay rent So I place my bed What got you shook on this Saturday? I'll take my L and I hope